Uh, the next game that we've got on the board here is the 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time game on Friday. Missouri at Arkansas, and the Razorbacks a 14.5-point favorite at home as it sits right now, a total of 62.5. And, and when I look at these numbers, obviously, you look at your long stats, and you are not going to see many things that point in Missouri's favor, which is also why this uh, spread is over 14 points. But when you look at most recent numbers, uh, Missouri has really figured something out on the defensive side of the ball as far as being able to stop the run. And, you know, on the other side, Tyler Beatty, I mean, he is unbelievable. Uh, Connor Bazelak is is injured, and that certainly isn't going to help anything. But, you know, Arkansas put up a, a massive fight against Alabama last week. I wonder if this is a little bit of a hangover. And don't forget, I mean, Arkansas hasn't won this game in six years, I think it is. They are, I think, going to be fired up for this, but also there's a little bit of a mental hurdle there when you haven't beaten somebody in a really, really long time. Missouri kind of has that that quiet confidence of, we've done this year after year. There's not a single guy on that roster that has ever lost to Arkansas. And yeah, it's on the road. Yeah, I get it. But I do think, I don't, I'm not going to take Missouri to win this game, but I think 14.5 is way too many here. So I'll, I'll certainly take the Tigers. Interesting. I, I, I So if I look at the last couple of games for Missouri, I look at, you know, when, when their numbers got better, they played Vanderbilt. They played <laughs> South Carolina. Neither of those are good teams. Agreed. Florida clearly had some motivation issues, and clearly Eli Drinkwitz was very excited about winning that game and getting up for that game and evidently brought props for the postgame presser, knowing that they were going <laughs> to win that game. That lightsaber um, was awesome. I mean, come on now. I, <laughs> They call him the alpha respect, nerd. You know, you got to respect with the petty, man. You got to respect <laughs> the petty. I, I think that this is a situation where Arkansas, obviously more talented, way more explosive on offense. The rushing game that Missouri has been able to stop has been running back heavy. Arkansas is using KJ Jefferson as a bowling ball uh, and, and scrambling a lot. And so uh, I like Arkansas in this spot. My question is, how much does Missouri actually care about this rivalry? Because I kind of have the same thought as you. You know, they won this game in a while, and they won the Super Bowl last year unequivocally. Yes. They beat Florida unequivocally, won the Super Bowl. It was senior day. That was awesome. My thought is that Missouri's a little a little potentially complacent here, and Sam Pittman stays hungry, man. That's that's my attitude. I, I like Arkansas to cover 14 and a half. I, I have this line closer to 17. Um, but some of the concerns you said is why this isn't an official, you know, a, a play on the show tomorrow, for instance. Yeah. Th- this is definitely one my family's from Arkansas. I'm an Arkansas fan. I'm throwing money on this just for vanity, but like I can't, <laughs> I'm not advising people play this. Yeah. I I look at it because I so the week after playing <clears throat> Alabama, teams typically don't cover the spread very well. Now this isn't the same Alabama team and whatnot, but but Arkansas did get beat up pretty good in that game. That's another reason why I'm like Okay, they they want to win, but how much is how much of this is mental, right? You haven't beaten this team in six years. Uh, what what is the issue there? So that, that's the only reason I, I fully yeah. expect Arkansas to win. Did Arkansas get a moral victory last year, last week? In your mind? <sighs> yeah, a little bit, and, and they'll never say that publicly. I don't think. I mean, hell, the AD was coming out, <laughs> you know, saying that they got screwed in the state of Alabama again. You know, I mean, it, it becomes a whole a whole thing. I just I wonder I wonder how much of a rivalry this is for either side, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean this this is two straight games that Arkansas, you know, they went down and they got the golden boot from LSU, which they hadn't won in forever, and then they go to Alabama and actually put up a fight, which they hadn't done in a long time. Uh, now you get a third straight game, and it's kind of the same thing with Missouri, where they had a super fight last week. I just wonder, you know, if if that mental edge isn't a little bit on the Tiger side. And, you know, you give me over two touchdowns, I mean, I'll take that. Like, <laughs> for I'll sure. take that in, a rival, in a rivalry game, for sure. Yeah, I totally agree. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.